Shalom. Come in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai Bah Hashem Kakwadash, the Bah Honor to the Apostles of Great Millstone, and to the hopeful alike pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. This lesson to be titled Confusion is Simple and Simple is Confusion. Right? Because um, you know, things are on this planet, everything's backwards, upside down, inside out. You know, people changing their genders, people saying they're into children. You know, yeah, the the wicked call themselves the righteous. Everything's backwards. Isaiah 5 and 20. I want to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Right? So that's basically what happens now. People are saying things that are, are, are good are now bad. Right? Like a man and a woman being in a, a marriage, you know, having kids, you know, not wanting to have his son dress up like a girl and not having his daughter dress up like a, a boy. That's bad. That whole situation is bad now. Now it's like, well, no, they have to be able to uh, feel how they want to feel. If they want to be a woman, he can, he can be a woman. If he wants to be no gender, he can be no... Like, you know, it's just, it's just pure confusion, right? It's pure confusion. And the word confusion, overthrow, ruin, right? And it is ruin because it ruins you. Confusion ruins you. It ruins you in a relationship, you know, when that person is confused, they don't understand what's going on, right? Right. That's why things have to be simple and straightforward, right? It can't be confusion and complicated because any relationship is going to be destroyed. That's just one example. You just talk about this planet, right? It's full of confusion. That's why it's going to ruins, right? That's why it's in disorder, right? So now... We're going to go to 1 Corinthians 1 Corinthians 14, 21. In the law it is written, With men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people, and yet for all that will they, and yet for all that will they not hear me, saith the Lord. And the most is going to talk to other people uh, through other lips, right? Other tongues is through his men, because you have men, you have uh, prophets scattered through all the nations. So they speak different languages, you know? But he said, Even through that, they will not hear him. Right? Even if he's talking to people in their own language, they're still not going to hear the Most High. Right? Wherefore, tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. Right? Right? Because someone can get tripped up based off like someone speaking in the Spanish or, you know, or the Russian, you know, speaking the truth. But... It's not uh, to them that believe not, like they won't, they won't take it in. You know? Right? Wherefore, tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying serveth not for them that believe not, right? But for them that, which believe, right? So when you prophesy, it's not for the people that believe not, right? Because they're not going to believe it. They're not going to take it in. So it's not for them. It's for the ones that believe, Right? If therefore the whole, right, and even the tongues, you even take it as these, these pastors and churches when they're, you know, they go speaking in tongues and all that stuff, right? That's another example of that. Like, no one under, really understands what they're saying, you know? There's, there's, it's, basically, they're being a demon, they're being possessed, but, you know, they're speaking in tongues and they're speaking all this stuff and no one knows what they're saying, right? So that's why it's not for them that believe, because that's just, pure confusion that's going to lead you down the wrong path so it's going to be it's, going to be, it's for them that believe not right the wicked ones the two-thirds that, that that's that's what that stuff is for it's for them right if therefore the whole church be come together into one place and all speak with tongues and there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers will they not say that ye are mad right yeah because they're unlearned and unbelievers so you don't believe so when they come and see a bunch of people speaking, speak with tongues, right? They're going to say that you're mad. 
Like, what are you talking about? Right? But if all prophesy, so the same men, if they're all prophesying, and there come in one that believe, 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 uh, slack. But if all prophesy and there come in one that believeth not or unlearned, he is convinced of all. He is judged of all. Right? So it says, even on uh, to add on, so even if you're if you're prophesying, right? If all are prophesying and there come in one that believe not or, un, or one unlearned, he is convinced of all. He is judged of all. And thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest. So heart is in his mind. And so falling down on his face, he will worship Yahweh and report that Yahweh is in you of the truth. Right? So prophecy trumps everything, basically, is what this, it's, this is saying. Right? It, it gets through all the confusion. Right? Because really, if you think about it, when you first came into the truth, a lot of, we were all unlearned and unbelievers. We didn't believe because we believed we'd be in the truth. So obviously, we had to be brought in. And someone had to prophesy and give you the truth. Right? And if it was meant for you, you're going to take it in. And then you're going to, you know, you're going to repent. And you're going to, you know, praise Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Right? Because that's what goes into that. That's why the tongue stuff, right? When it comes to tongues, if someone's speaking a different language, you need someone that can interpret it for that person so they can understand what you're saying, right? Because them, now you're just speaking tongues. They don't know what you're saying. You could be prophesying, right? But you're speaking a different language that they don't understand. So now, you know, they're just going to think you're crazy. It's like, what, what are you saying? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Right? That's why when you're prophesying, you need an interpreter. But if, you know, if there's a whole bunch of people, if someone's speaking that language, that person understands, and now you're speaking the truth and it's meant for them, they're going to wake up and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, wow, this makes sense. So that's why an interpreter is also a good thing, a very important thing. But um, this goes into the whole thing about confusion, right? You can't have confusion. It has to be simple. Confusion leads to disorder. Revelations seventeen three. Revelations Revelation seventeen three. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Right? So there's America, you know, you have Babylon you have Babylon America, you have um the EU, NATO and the EU, right? Those kingdoms. I believe the ten ten horns is those uh those um kingdoms of the EU, right? Because horns re uh, represents power, right? And the seven heads is um those seven kingdoms. Those seven kingdoms. And then Russia is not one of them. That's a, a old breakdown. Paul, Apostle Tahar made that recent to say that Russia is not part of that. Um, Re Revelation seventeen four. And a woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and pre precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations, filthiness of her fornication. Right. So she, this woman, which is America, right, Babylon, right. Holding that cup, it's full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication, which is the point, right? And that's abomination and filthiness of fornication. It's pure, that's all confusion, right? Fornicating, going against the scriptures, committing adultery, abomination, filthiness. It's all against the scriptures, all, all against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about cleanliness, purity, right? Order. So these are the things that are opposite of that. And upon her forehead was written, forehead was a name written, mystery, 
Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. So this, this Babylon the Great, which is America, is the mother of all harlots and abominations. All right? So you already know what place is pure confusion because that's Babylon, Great Babylon is America. This is the land of, uh, of confusion. Right? There's nothing simple in America. Nothing. Right? And their confusion has spread to the other nations because they also have drunk of that cup. Right? But America's the mother of it. And then you have her kids, these other nations, these other countries. But anyways, that's it on that. Um, just want to make a quick and short one about confusion, right? So like anytime things are confusing confusion or yeah, anytime things are confusing, slack. Uh, that's just Satan, you know, that's Satan coming in there in the midst and messing up with things, right? So you just got to be able to see that, you know, and cast that uh, demon out of that uh, vicinity or area or your life, wherever it is. But anyways, I can close out by saying, Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the whole elect pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to his wicked kingdom and the two-thirds as well. Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal, Shalom.